All right, day number three, here we go. A little later start than normal. It's already daylight. So now, I think I underestimated my mileage. But today, I'll be walking from uh, Chelsea to Harpersville. Uh, that's 12 miles. So, anyway, and then the next leg, I think I might be able to take it all the way. We'll see. I don't know what I thought. When I looked it up before, it said 36 miles, but I don't remember exactly where I, where I was looking it from. So, this morning I saw on there it was going to be, when I was looking at mileages, from... A tractor supply in Chelsea to Childersburg or the Circle K in Childersburg I was trying to find a point was 18 miles and I think Sylacauga is another I don't know probably 15 miles from there so anyway so I might have looked up my mileage is wrong but so anyway so anyway Today will be 12 miles, and I will talk to you down the road. So I just stopped into Walgreens in Chelsea. I did it again. I left my water bottle, so I had to buy a water bottle, and I, was, I had to buy some sunglasses. I'm walking to the east, and I'm like, this sun right in my eyes this time of day. So I went on and buy, bought some. I thought they were a little pricey. It was $20. But the salesperson in there talked me into getting the polarized kind. I was going to get the cheapo, cheapest one. I really wanted to get some from Dollar Tree. But apparently the vendor for the sunglasses just happened to be there at the time I was in there. And she's like, don't get this other mess. Get the polarized. And she talked me into it, so that's what I got. All right. I'll see y'all down the road. Still going, guys. Speaking of this water bottle, I'm a few miles. I think I'm a mile or so down the road past where I was. Last I talked. I'm getting close to the end of Chelsea. But speaking of this water bottle. I'm going to insert a picture, either the left or the right, however that works out in the editing. And I'm going to post a picture while I'm talking to you about this. I think I paid either $279 or $299 for this bottle of water. You believe that? I just can't get over that. You know, most bottled water is just tap water. And then they're putting it in a plastic bottle and sell it to you for a hundred times the amount. I actually went to the Dasani plant. It's in Montgomery. So, so Dasani, which is owned by Coca-Cola, have a, a plant in Montgomery. And they get their money, because I'm sorry, they get their water from the city of Montgomery which comes directly out of the Coosa River which is downriver from the Prattville paper plant so when they have the cooling ponds and the I'm sorry the cooling ponds the chemical ponds where they have these leaching ponds and then they put more chemicals in it so they can dump it back in the river and then it goes down down river to Montgomery Montgomery puts it in a pipe Dasani puts that same water in a bottle and sells it to you for two or three dollars. Amazing. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that about the about the water. Because it's just amazing how much how much tap water in a bottle costs. 
Whoever came up with that is a, is a real genius. And to be honest, whoever did come up with that probably never got any money from it. Somebody probably stole his idea. But anyway, just thought I'd share that about the, about the water. So, word to the wise, if you're going to get out there and exercise, then you need, to, you need to take a bottle of water or something with you. Uh, go to Walmart or Walgreens or whoever and buy a whole case of it for three or four dollars. So, I'm going to continue on and I'll see you down the road here in a little bit. Well guys, I made it to the other end of Chelsea. It's a long way to walk across Chelsea. Chelsea's big. I didn't realize it was that big. I mean, I hadn't seen it past the store in a long time or anything like that. So I just been walking with no buildings or anything for a while. But anyway, now I'm at the end of Chelsea. Well, uh, Made it to Westover. I'm just at the very beginnings of it, so don't really know how far I got to go. I parked my truck in uh, Harpersville at Jack's Restaurant. So still got a ways to go. I think it's about 10 o'clock in the morning or so. I'm not really sure. But uh, truck on, trucking on. I hope this is a little bit of encouragement that if I can get out and do something like this, then you can get out and do a little bit. We don't literally live in a society where where everybody walks everywhere like they did back in Bible times. You know, those guys, well, they had wagons and stuff, but for the most part, everybody walked. And uh, and they did have horses and what have, oxen and what have you, but those people must have been in really good shape because they just walked. If they were traveling, they were walking. So, anyway, if they can walk everywhere they go, well, I can walk a little bit. I'll catch up with y'all a little further down the road. Okay, guys. A little over halfway. I think I've walked something like seven miles right now. So I got, I think I got about five, five and a half to go, something like that. Still going. Starting to get tired. I don't know if I should have ate something or not. I don't know. Kind of feel like I should have, but. When I, when I get through, I'm definitely going to get something to eat because I'm, I'm really hungry. I don't know. I don't know really what I should do on, on the eating part. I know I definitely started too late today. Because even though it's not super hot, it's like 70 degrees. But I'm going to be walking probably at noon when I get through, give or take. 
So that's going to be something like, I don't know, somewhere around four or five hours of walking, something like that. Long, long time. But uh, anyway, I'm on. I'll check back with you down the road a little piece. Well, uh, still in Westover. About to go by Columbiana Tractor. Still keeping on, keeping on. I don't know if I bit off more than I can chew today. I don't know. Starting to get a little tired. But we're going to keep on with it. Once you set a goal, man, you need to, you need to keep on with it. Don't give up. Because if you give up one time, you'll give up again. So, I will say this. You need to set your goals that you can attain, though. Don't set it unrealistic. So, I didn't set an unrealistic goal today, but it was definitely on the edge. I'm getting towards the end of West over here. And the next town will be Harpersville, which is where I'm going. So, I think I should have just stuck with a somewhere around 10 miles, but when I was looking for a place to park the truck, see? Hang on, let me turn you around. That was looking for a place to park the truck on the maps, you know. And I thought, I was like, well, I can park it at Jack's. That's a fast food restaurant. So I was like, nobody mess with my truck there. But in hindsight, I think I was like, well, maybe I should have backed it up a little bit. But it's still okay. It's all good. I'm going to make it. But it's going to be a, it's a, it's a long trek. All right, I'll catch up with y'all down the road. Well, guys, I'm about three miles away from destination. Starting to get a little tired. You see, I'm sitting down on this guardrail, but uh, I had to take a little break for just a minute. I'm gonna get going here in just a, just a minute. About out of water too. But I can see the end in sight. I, well, I can't see it, but I can feel it. I can feel the end in sight. So anyway, so I think I'm about an hour away from, of walking. So it's 11.30. So I ought to be done by 12.30. All right, catch up with y'all in a little bit. Okay, guys, I made it to the other end of Westover. Westover's a little bit like Chelsea in the fact that it, look, can you see that? There ain't nothing for miles. And when you're driving it, yeah, you notice it, but it's a little different when you're walking. It's like, man, I ain't passed anything in a long time. Anyway, well, next town's Harperville. I thought I was already out of Westover. I just didn't, wasn't thinking about their signs. But uh, yeah, I'm officially out of Westover now. But uh, I don't really know exactly how far I have to go. Not too terribly far off. A couple of, couple of miles, two and a half, something, I don't know. But uh, still keeping on with it. I would like to say that uh, I would like, I encourage you to get out and do something because just, just thinking about it, don't do it. And I would say prepare a little bit more than I did because out of water. But, uh, 
no stores anywhere around. But, uh, set your mind to it, you can do it. Get out, make it happen. You know, this is only my third day. And I think that, uh, judging by my shirt, just in three days, or three, it's actually, uh, let's see, what's today? Wednesday. It's actually been one week. One week today, but three, three walking days. And I don't know if I've lost any weight at all. But I was noticing this morning that my shirt fits a little looser than it did. So maybe, maybe a little bit. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll get back to y'all here in just shortly. We'll get a little closer. While I'm walking down the road here, I was thinking about you know all the stress of life and stress of work. They say that, you know, exercise is supposed to, you know, help with stress. And I do think that's true. Well, all this walking, I not have no stress. But if you got things bottled up inside you, just take some deep breaths and then pray about it. Let it go for a few minutes. That don't mean it don't have to come back and you gotta deal with the problem, whatever it is. But just take some deep breaths, go for a little walk, and just let it be for a little while. Just thought I'd throw that out there. If you own a company or you're a corporate, exec a corporate executive at a large company, you got IT problems, you got computers, you got copiers, you got all these things, right? Well, hang on. All right, so you have IT, you got uh, software, you got internet to deal with, you got computers, copiers, you got all these things to worry about. So you have somebody that's supposed to be working on all that stuff for you, and every day you go into work and it's like WTF. What is going on? Why? Every Hang day on. I come into work, something's not right. Something's not working. There's always some kind of computer problem. Well, let me tell you. Whoever it is you got working for you, give them their walking papers. Hey, they just need to find another job. Tell them, hey, I like you. I love you. You got to go somewhere else. This ain't working. So what is going to work is call the boss. So for all your internet and IT solutions, call the boss. That's 205-900-BOSS. Call the boss. Well, I made it to Harpersville. I'm on the outskirts of Harpersville. So there's the Harpersville Church of Christ. I'm getting there. Been a long day today. Starting to get some blisters. Need to toughen up my feet, toughen up my legs. My body just sure was not used to this. But I'm gonna get there. It's just gonna take some getting used to. I don't know how much further I have to go. Probably a mile, give or take. I see the welcome to Harpersville sign. But uh, I hope uh, any of you guys watching this, I hope that it's not just entertainment, but it's some sort of inspiration. Y'all watching me really does help me. It helps me get motivated to keep going keep pushing because I'm here to tell you about two or three miles back from right here 
I was like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I mean, I knew in my heart I would, but my mind, my mind is not always your friend. My mind was like, man, I don't know if you can do this or not. But, uh, we're gonna keep trucking on a little bit. And I'm on the downhill stretch to it, so I think next time we talk, uh, I may be there. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a jack sign way up ahead. That's, that's my destination. That's my stop point for today. Getting, I'm almost there. Getting real thirsty too. But I can see the end, so we're gonna make it. Walking by this farm right here, right here in Harpersville. Looks like he's got cotton, some other things. So, as I'm walking by this farm, it just made me think something most people don't know. You know, the farmer is the only, a farmer is the only profession that buys everything at retail and sells everything at wholesale. Only one, nobody else does that. I think they get the short end of the stick on that one. So, all these guys that get out there and you know they produce well really and truly unless it's a big corporation farm now there are those the fact they're probably most of them are that way now and they got insider deals with different companies and they own different companies and different subsidiaries of different companies and all these things but just the local guy farmer he puts up with a lot to do that job anyway next time y'all buy something especially local just think about that and he's doing a lot for a little we're almost getting there I can see. I'm, getting, I'm getting closer to jacks okay guys i made it there's my truck right behind me there's jacks if you set your mind to do something, get out there and do it. Just do it. You know, Jesus, when he was walking, doing his ministry, he walked everywhere. And I don't think that I can do what all he did. We can do a little bit of it. So, if you set your mind to it, go for it. Do it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on One Mile to Go.